Hey everybody, today I'm working on a 12 by 12 canvas and I've got my colors right here. The first one I've got is from um, Deco Art. It's Dazzling Metallics White Pearl and I've actually got my canvas covered with that. Uh, the next color I have is this one here. It is um, from Deco Art and it is Adirondacks. And then this one here is also from um, Deco Art and it is called Fountain. And then this one is um, from the Fine Touch and it is Cerulean Blue. And I also put in um, some Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And then this one here is also from the Fine Touch and I also added a little bit of white to that as well. These are all from a previous pour so I thought I would um, do another painting and use some of them up. So I'm just going to, like I said, I got my canvas already started, or already covered. Um, all my paints are mixed with my mix that I make up with the Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol, and water. And I do not have any silicone or anything in them. So I'm just going to start and put a little bit on there. And today I'm actually just going to dump directly on the um, spatula. So I'm going to start out with the darker blue, uh, the fountain blue. And then I'm going to go with the cerulean blue. Tilt it a bit that way. And I think I'm actually going to add a little bit of Liquitex Quinacridone Magenta. I'm just going to go ahead and squirt some of that right on here. And I'm going to do a little bit more blue. I know there's a bunch on there already. I'm just going to see what happens. It's kind of a mess looking right now. A little bit more yellow. I know it's all probably going off that end. Alright, so I'm just going to do that. It looks a little crazy right now. Alright, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to take this. I have a lot of paint. There's a lot of paint on here. Alright, and then I'm just going to kind of go over the top of it. I don't have very steady hand. That's my problem. <laughs> that looks pretty though. Well, not necessarily this. Alright, now I'm going to move it around and see what happens. I'm going to end up losing a lot of this. some of that green. I don't really like that on there. that all the 
There we go. Okay, that looks much better than what I was seeing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go over it with my torch, if there's any air bubbles, I've got quite some nice cells that have popped up. Yeah, I'm really liking that, I love this yellow piece come through there. And a little bit of magenta, just a touch. It's very light, and I also got some cool purple. Mm, love this. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for a bit, and then um, I'll come back and do a close-up so you can see all the cool detail. All right, I will be back. Okay, guys, so I will give you a close-up. It's been about 20 minutes, and you can see there's just cells galore they're huge now, they've just grown really huge, so I'm hoping that maybe some more come up through here. I didn't want to dump it because it just looks so pretty with the um, colors trying to come through. There's like purple and yellow and blue and green, so I don't really want to dump it. I do like that, that's cool. But these cells just are huge. And that looks pretty too. The yellow and the magenta are trying to come through there, so I like that. And then that looks really pretty. And then this right here is a bunch of huge cells. You can faintly see the lines, the outlines of the cells, but they've just grown so big. <laughs> all right, well, stay tuned, and I will show you uh, when it's all dry. guys I'm gonna take you in for a close-up this dried really nice I like how the colors look it's really pretty and the cells are just enormous no silicone so that's cool easier to seal without having to worry about that I do like the texture you can see all that very cool so quite happy with that I really like these colors too all right well there it is thank you guys for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and have a great day